Charles Hard Towns July 28, 1915, to January 27, 2015, was an American physicist and inventor of the Maser. Towns worked on the theory and application of the Maser, for which he obtained the fundamental patent, and other work in quantum electronics associated with both Maser and laser devices. He shared the 1964 Nobel Prize in Physics with Nikolai Basov and Alexander Prokhorov. Towns was an advisor to the United States government, meeting every U.S. president from Harry Truman 1945 to Bill Clinton 1999. He directed the U.S. Government Science and Technology Advisory Committee for the Apollo Lunar Landing Program. After becoming a professor of the University of California at Berkeley in 1967, he began an astrophysical program that produced several important discoveries, for example, the black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Towns was religious and believed that science and religion are converging to provide a greater understanding of the nature and purpose of the universe. <laughs> Early life Towns was born in Greenville, South Carolina, the son of Henry Keith Towns (1876–1958), an attorney, and Ellen Sumter Towns (nay Hard) (1881–1980). He earned his B.S. in Physics and B.A. in Modern Languages at Furman University, where he graduated in 1935. Towns completed work for the Master of Arts degree in Physics at Duke University during 1937, and then began graduate school at the California Institute of Technology, from which he received a Ph.D. degree in 1939. During World War II, he worked on radar bombing systems at Bell Labs. <laughs> Career and research In 1950, Towns was appointed professor at Columbia University. He served as executive director of the Columbia Radiation Laboratory from 1950 to 1952. He was chairman of the physics department from 1952 to 1955. In 1951, Towns conceived a new way to create intense, precise beams of coherent radiation, for which he invented the acronym MASER for microwave amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. When the same principle was applied to higher frequencies, the term laser was used the word light, substituting for the word microwave. During 1953 Towns, James P. Gordon, and H. J. Zeiger built the first ammonia maser at Columbia University. This device used stimulated emission in a stream of energized ammonia molecules to produce amplification of microwaves at a frequency of about 24.0 GHz. From 1959 to 1961, he was on leave of absence from Columbia University to serve as vice president and director of research of the Institute for Defense Analyses in Washington, D.C., a nonprofit organization, which advised the U.S. government and was operated by 11 universities. Between 1961 and 1967, Towns served as both provost and professor of physics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Then, during 1967, he was appointed as a professor of physics at the University of California at Berkeley, where he remained for almost 50 years. His status was as professor emeritus by the time of his death during 2015. Between 1966 and 1970, he was chairman of the NASA Science Advisory Committee for the Apollo Lunar Landing Program. For his creation of the Maser, Towns along with Nikolai Basov and Alexander Prokhorov received the 1964 Nobel Prize in Physics. Towns also developed the use of masers and lasers for astronomy, was part of a team that first discovered complex molecules in space, and determined the mass of the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. During 2002 2003, Towns served as a Karl Schwarzschild lecturer in Germany and the Birla lecturer and Schrödinger lecturer in India. <laughs> Astrophysics This information is drawn from the authoritative oral history on Charles Towns done by the Bancroft Library at the University of California at Berkeley and underwritten by the Sloan Foundation. Refer to other aspects of his life too. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Molecular Astronomy. When Towns failed to be promoted to president of MIT during 1967, he accepted an offer from Clark Kerr to join the University of California at Berkeley and begin an astrophysical program. Towns soon began searching for molecules in space. 
At the time most astronomers thought that molecules could not exist in space because ultraviolet rays would destroy them. Towns eventually discovered ammonia and water in dust clouds, which shielded them from damaging rays, by essentially doing microwave spectroscopy on the sky. This created the topic of molecular per millimeter astronomy, which continues to find many complex molecules, some the precursors to life. Topic. Galactic center The center of the Milky Way had long puzzled astronomers, and thick dust obscures the view of it in visible light. During the mid to late 1970s, towns together with Eric Wallman, John Lacey, Thomas Gebaye and Fred Boss studied Sagittarius A, the H2 region at the galactic center, at infrared wavelengths. They observed ionized neon gas swirling around the center at such velocities that the mass at the very center must be approximately equal to that of three million suns. Such a large mass in such a small space implied that the central object the radio source Sagittarius A** contains a supermassive black hole. Sagittarius A** was one of the first black holes detected, its mass has been more accurately determined to be 4.3 million solar masses. Topic. Shapes and sizes of stars Towns' last major technological creation was the infrared spatial interferometer with Walt Fittelson, Ed Wishnow and others. The project combined three mobile infrared detectors aligned by lasers that study the same star. If each telescope is 10 meters from the other, it creates an impression of a 30-meter lens. Observations of Betelgeuse, a red giant in the shoulder of the constellation Orion, found that it is increasing and decreasing in size at the rate of 1% per year, 15% over 15 years. ISI produces extremely high angular and spatial resolution. The technology is also playing an important role in the search for extraterrestrial life in collaborations with Dan Wertheimer of SETI. Topic. Personal life and legacy Towns married Francis H. Brown, an activist for the homeless, during 1941. They lived in Berkeley, California and had four daughters, Linda Rosenwine, Ellen Anderson, Carla Kessler, and Holly Towns, a religious man and a member of the United Church of Christ. Towns believed that, "...science and religion are quite parallel, much more similar than most people think and that in the long run, they must converge." He wrote in a statement after winning the Templeton Prize during 2005. Science tries to understand what our universe is like and how it works, including us humans. Religion is aimed at understanding the purpose and meaning of our universe, including our own lives. If the universe has a purpose or meaning, this must be reflected in its structure and functioning, and hence in science." Towns died at the age of 99 in Oakland, California, on January 27, 2015. He was one of the most important experimental physicists of the last century. Reinhard Genzel, a professor of physics at Berkeley, said of Towns. His strength was his curiosity and his unshakable optimism, based on his deep Christian spirituality. Topic. Science and religion Towns' opinions concerning science and religion were expounded in his essays. The Convergence of Science and Religion, Logic and Uncertainties in Science and Religion, and his book Making Waves. Towns felt that the beauty of nature is obviously God made, and that God created the universe for humans to emerge and flourish. He prayed every day and ultimately felt that religion is more important than science because it addresses the most important long range question the meaning and purpose of our lives. Town's belief in the convergence of science and religion is based on claimed similarities. Faith. Towns argued that the scientist has faith much like a religious person does, allowing him, her to work for years for an uncertain result. Revelation. Towns claimed that many important scientific discoveries, like his invention of the maser, laser, occurred as a flash, much more akin to religious revelation than interpreting data. Proof. During this century the mathematician Gödel discovered there can be no absolute proof in a scientific sense. Every proof requires a set of assumptions, and there is no way to check if those assumptions are self-consistent because other assumptions would be required. Uncertainty. 
Towns believed that we should be open-minded to a better understanding of science and religion in the future. This will require us to modify our theories, but not abandon them. For example, at the start of the 20th century physics was largely deterministic. But when scientists began studying the quantum mechanics they realized that indeterminism and chance play a role in our universe. Both classical physics and quantum mechanics are correct and work well within their own bailiwick, and continue to be taught to students. Similarly, Towns believes growth of religious understanding will modify, but not make us abandon, our classic religious beliefs. Topic. Selected publications Towns' work was published widely in books and peer-reviewed journal articles, including Topic. Awards and honors Towns was widely recognized for his scientific work and leadership. Topic. References Topic. External links Charles Towns Oral History Part 1 Childhood, College, Career Overview, recorded at IEEE History Center, August 1991, retrieved May 1, 2015 Charles Towns Oral History Part 2 Studies at Caltech and Work at Bell Labs on the Eve of World War II, recorded at IEEE History Center, September 1992, retrieved May 1, 2015 The Learning Project Charles Hard Towns, Physicist, Astronomer, University Professor Interview for the Learning Project, Views of Authentic Learning, June 2005.